it's time for another hair related video and this time around we will be doing a product review with two different products on my hair simultaneously so y'all know me I love me a good deep conditioner and so I got a um, I don't read all my comments you guys and I actually turned my comments off but as a content creator I can go to my analytics page and see what contents are coming in and so someone had mentioned on one of my comparison hair videos I believe it was an African pride um, cholesterol comparing with another cholesterol I can't remember exactly what it was but anyway this individual suggested or recommended um, I compare a hair mayonnaise by African's Best with the Vitali hair mayonnaise and I have actually been eyeing the Vitali um, product so this is what we have we have the originals Africa's Best hair mayonnaise okay and y'all I have a separate video on this I've done this um, I've used this product several times I have no problems with it I absolutely love it then we have the Vitali hair oil then we have the Vitali olive oil hair mayonnaise now I know plenty of you I know I know some of you have seen this particular product at Sally's Beauty it's always there girl always there age you want to buy it um there's not a lot in this container and if I could be honest what is this like six ounces eight ounces if I'm honest this will be this is enough for half of my hair which is perfect for this particular product review so we're going to be using the Africa's Best on this side and the Patali on this side before we get into that I'm going to go over benefits for both of these products okay so for the originals Africa's Best hair mayonnaise deep conditioner it helps treat and repair dry or damaged hair um oh it's in french sorry with extra virgin olive oil natural herbs and egg protein so if you are protein sensitive please be aware of that but most cholesterols or hair, hair mayonnaise have some type of protein in it okay so that's what this says this is fairly large what is this, 12 ounces 15 ounces this can last me for about three washes because I typically like to mix my deep conditioners together with other products so as far as the Vitali olive oil hair mayonnaise with oat protein cholesterol and botanicals repairs damaged hair rejuvenates fragile hair moisturizing conditions also in French now I purchased both products through amazon.com they were very very affordable none of these cost me more neither one cost me more than eight bucks which is winning right very very affordable so I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse my hair lightly condition my hair like I have like half a cup of conditioner to go in rake my hair and then we're gonna go ahead and apply the conditioners on my hair now I'm gonna leave them both on for about 45 minutes okay all right guys so I'm freshly out of the shower with cleansing my hair we have the African's pride hair mayonnaise and then we have the Vitali hair mayonnaise. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the African Pride. My hair is soaking wet, but being low porosity, it, yeah, it does this. So <laughs> going in heavy handed, okay? Do not judge me. I like to use a lot of product. I have a lot of hair. My strands are dense, so I make sure that I use quite a bit for my hair. So splitting it down the middle and applying the product. I feel like the African Pride product is a great consistency. I typically like to use, um, excuse me, I like to pair this particular product with heat, but it's okay. Mind you, this product is protein. So if you're protein sensitive, actually both of these products have protein in them. But since I am very familiar with the African Pride, I'm just letting you guys know. So going ahead and putting it on, you can see how it's coating my strands nicely. I'm going to then go ahead and section my hair off, excuse me, and just twist it up with these um, uh, these hair clips. So y'all, real quick, what, what deep conditioners are y'all using? I mean, I, I don't need any more, but let me know what, what deep conditioners you guys are using. I'm just interested. So yeah, now we're going in, wiping off my, my chest, y'all. We're going in with the Vitali deep conditioner. Now this has like a light green to it, like a sage color. It is thicker than the African Pride product. It is the consistency, let's say if you would take the African Pride product, yeah, it feels good. You take the African Pride product and you whipped it with whipped cream. That's the consistency I'm getting. So it's creamier, it's heavier, it's denser. It's going on my hair like butter. It feels absolutely great. Disclaimer, it is highly fragrant. It has a, a strong scent to it. I'm somebody, you guys, I already have allergies, so I am sensitive to allergies. And unfortunately, you're going to see me come back on cam here. I ended up having 
and allergic reaction to this particular product. I'm okay, but I literally had to like leave it on. Well, put it like this. As soon as I put my head cap on, I knew that I was having a reaction. My hair, excuse me, my um, side of my face started itching. My eyes started watering. And I, I'm pretty sure that it's more than likely is the highly scented. So I ended up washing this out in less than 10 minutes, okay? <sighs> okay. So my glasses are foggy because I was in the shower. I didn't even get to 45 minutes. I didn't even get to 10 minutes leaving the conditioners on. When I went to apply the Vitali, which I'm very heavy handed, I mentioned that. And so because it's only like six ounces, it was just enough to do half of my hair. Excuse me. So I have an allergic reaction. I don't know if it's more than likely it's whatever fragrance scent that they use. Sorry, y'all, my glasses are, are foggy. It's whatever uh, fragrance. It's not a drastic like, you know, but my eye is itchy and it's watery. And so I took a Benadryl, half of a Benadryl just to be safe. And yeah, I have to wash it out. With that being said, let me just take my glasses off. If I can't see you, it is what it is. With that being said, going on, I preferred this deep conditioner cholesterol as opposed to the African pride y'all it's a bit much <laughs> as opposed to the African pride um rinse it out this felt better uh this felt like more of a protein treatment rinse it out it felt like my hair felt stronger um yeah but because just because of the reaction I don't know if I could recommend this if you're sensitive like me to certain type of hair products that has scents, heavy scent, it's, it's strong. So, um, but it felt great coming off, y'all. It felt great rinsing out. My hair feels better. I just don't understand, like, why some of these com uh, companies, why they want us smelling like uh, Elizabeth Taylor White Diamonds. I, I, I don't want to smell like I'm 80 years old going to Victor Temple, Holy Bible, Pentecostal Church. Just make it fragrance free. Fragrance free, dye free. I want a regular creamy and we're good. So it's gonna have to be the Africa's Best Hair Mayonnaise, y'all. And I know it's not this particular product because I have used this several times. It's actually a staple of mine. So sorry, Vitaly Olive Oil, it's a no. Right, let me see if I can find the ingredient. Child, these are the ingredients. That whole uh, paragraph is all the ingredients and so look i'm just gonna go ahead and section my hair off i'm gonna blow dry my hair and we're done child we are done